Welcome to the web-based staff training session for medication administration in schools. In this session, we will learn the appropriate manner in which to secure medications, what documentation is needed, how to record the administration of medication, and the appropriate actions to take if an incident were to occur. The principal, in collaboration with the school nurse, will delegate medication administration to one person for each class or school. Site-based dispensing will be determined by the principal for each campus. Common preferred dispensing locations is the main office, i.e. office staff member, teacher, etc. The medication authorization form must be completed with the name of the medication, the dose, the time the medication must be given, and contact information for the parent or guardian in case of an emergency. Prescription and over-the-counter medication must be presented in their original container labeled with the student's name, dosage, time that the medication is to be given, and route that the medication is to be given. Every time a student comes to take medication, the five rights of medication administration should be reviewed. These include right student, right medication, right dose, right time, and right route. Each medication must be accompanied by a medication authorization form signed by a physician and parent or guardian. All medications must be brought to school by the parent or guardian with the exception of inhalers and epi injectors. A bus driver may not transport any medications. A copy of this form should be placed in the school nurse's mailbox. All medications, with the exception of life-saving medications, are to be secured in a locked storage unit. Examples of secure locations are filing cabinet or locked desk drawer. Preschool guidelines are slightly stricter. All medications, with the exceptions of EpiPens and inhalers, must be locked. Every medication in the preschool classroom must be stored at least five feet from the floor. This is a copy of the medication authorization form. The form can be found at the healthcare provider's office or at the school. Please note that the medication authorization form may be located on the back of the asthma action plan. Here, you will see a copy of the medication log on which you will document each time the medication is given. This form must be documented in black ink. When receiving a medication, please be sure the top portion of the medication log is complete, including signing your name and initials. For controlled substances, such as ADHD medication and narcotics, please turn to the back of the form and document the number of pills received by or returned to the parent. Both you and the parent must initial the form. You will also document any missed medications on the back of this form. Medication administration should be performed in a prudent manner. The use of a folder or binder will facilitate order and help prevent incidents from occurring. Creating an alphabetical filing system is recommended and will assist you in the event of an emergency. Being able to quickly locate a student's consent form may positively impact the outcome. To document administration of medication, initial the appropriate box. Include the time for medication given as needed. If medication is not given, use code from key located directly above the calendar on the log. If more explanation is needed, please complete further notes on the back of the form. For example, if the student is out of medication, record an N, meaning no medication available for that date. A medication administration form is a legal document and can be subpoenaed in a court of law. Medication error or event forms must be completed in the case of a medication error. For example, 
Student forgets to come take their medication, or medication was dropped and a new pill needs to be given. An error event form should be filled out and the parent should be notified. Following parent notification, please notify principal and school nurse and place an event form in the school nurse's mailbox. Medication reviews will be performed by the school nurses at least once each school year. These reviews will facilitate understanding and compliance with policy and procedure. They will be utilized by the school nurse as an educational tool to increase competency of medication administration in the schools. At the end of the school year, all medications must be signed out on the back of the medication log and sent home with the parent or guardian. Students may only transport epi injectors and asthma inhalers. All medication authorization forms and completed medication logs are to be placed in the cumulative folders by the homeroom teacher. At Pitt County Schools, we operate under FERPA to protect the privacy of student information and records. Please remember this includes all health-related information, including medications. Remember that you need a signed authorization form in order to give medication at school. Teachers should make first contact to parents if forms are not completed or medication has not been supplied. Unauthorized over-the-counter and prescription medication shall not be given to any student by any member of the school staff for any reason per Pitt County School Policy. Please complete the attached quiz following watching this PowerPoint presentation. If you have any questions, please contact your school nurse and they will be glad to assist you.